All right, we rejoin the action. So these are clearly labeled on the bottom, L and R. And of course, I put the right one on the left side. Beautiful. I'm afraid to even look inside this stop start switch. I know that nubbin is waiting for me. It's going to ruin my day like it did on the other side. But it's a good thing I'm taking this apart because it looks like it definitely <laughs> could use a quick spray with the electronics cleaner. Ooh. So there was a nubbin. <laughs> there was a nubbin on this side, but somebody has already sanded it down. <laughs> what a blessing. Wow. I'm honestly, I'm honestly shocked. That makes my day so much nicer. Wow. Mind is actually blown. All right, we are coming apart. Brake lever has taken a little damage over time. Just gonna let that go. Okay, I think it's game time. Beautiful. On with the new one. My sticker facing the right way. My motor rev suspension sticker. And finger tight. What's up, kitty? Beautiful. I don't really love this dangling down there like that. Let's at least face it in kind of the right direction. There it is. 
old clip on off. Okay. Torqued. They must be joking. With the inside bolts here. Literally impossible to get to. Let's try this way. Okay, my mobile throttle cable mobile throttle cable is helping right now. Oh, I got a couple of <laughs> couple of turns. Look at that. Knuckles bleeding a little bit. Got to let them know. Okay, let's see if I can get... Oh, God. One more tighten on each one of these. Oh, one more crank. That was a good one. I like that. Oh, almost dropped it. But I didn't. Okay, that one's actually tight. I feel good about that. We'll come back to the outside. First of all, again, I cannot express the endless joy it brings me that somebody has already taken the liberty of sanding the nub down. That's just... brings a tear to my eye. And probably saves me from getting another bloody knuckle. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Sorry, Master Cylinder, for dangling you like that. Through there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Through there. About there. Okay. Here is what's going on. I am going to redneck the cables right now because I don't want to take off everything underneath the tank going down to the airbox to the throttle body. Wow, that's a real quick throttle. Uh, now, I think, of course that doesn't fit. I think what's going to happen is that the drums on the end of these cables are going to be too thick for the Rev3 housing. So, okay, it's <laughs> exactly the same width. Exactly the same width. So I think, yeah, see there, definitely doesn't fit. If I just slightly modify the width of these two barrels, then I won't have to change the whole cable. I will still change the cable eventually, but not today. I mean, this is kind of chewed up anyway, but one step at a time. So just when I thought I wasn't gonna have to sand anything today, wish I had something flatter. Uh, okay, side of a big wrench, that'll do. For those of you wondering why am I not using a file? I don't have one. So 220 grit sandpaper it is. Admittedly, it was more effective on the plastic yesterday. Saw that one coming. Oh, it actually goes inside now. It needs a little more, but it's working. That one needs a lot more, but it's definitely working. Okay, 10th time is a charm. Ooh. 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 Okay. Now. All right. Doesn't fit. I'm going to go. Bottom is beautiful. See if I have a file. Okay. No. No file, but I did find some 100 grit. And that's a lot better than 220. So, tally ho, chaps.
Okay, for real this time. Come on, baby. Oh! I'm pretty sure that's on. Screws are going in. They're going in easy. Now, do I want to shift everything down a smidge? Yes, I do. Can I just... Nope. There we go. Quick tighten. Okay, now... I guess I need to keep going. Right there. Quick test fit. Well, I mean... The hard part's over. I can put the wheel back on. I should probably do that before I can't see. Okay. A little bit more sanding, but it's close. Ooh, again, electronics look great after the cleaning. That's fine. I'm not even mad. Get it out of the way now. Oh, it's actually, it looks like the bottom one that's not fitting in. Wow. All right. Bring out the old 100 grit and big wrench method. Bottom cable, top cable. Bottom case, top case, oh, it just goes together so easy and so nice now. Like it's supposed to. Fumble. That's snappy. Ooh. Millimeters. call that precision. I think it's time to put the, oh, that's so fast. <laughs> I might actually drop it down and put the 40 millimeter back on, but it is in fact, I am going to adjust the two levers to be even the case for the Brembo brake lever uh, or for the Brembo master cylinder is big and bulky and the I guess mounting points for the clip-ons are also big and bulky and between those two I had to back off the right side handlebar a little bit uh, to get the angle I wanted for my brake lever, which is fine. It is what it is. So I'm just going to measure that overhang. It's like an inch and an eighth, and then back this one down. Okay, this is just whatever grips come in the Motion Pro throttle kit. Uh, I'm sure they're fine, but I personally prefer the thicker 32 millimeter uh, size grip. So eventually I will switch it out, but that's the whole point of putting custom, you know, putting clip-ons on is that you have all the adjustability. I'm sure this will take me two or three tries before I get it to where I want. Like I said, I'm already thinking about moving the the brake lever up a little bit. I like it down a lot, but I'm not going to lie. It's pretty extreme right now. <laughs> but back to the old soap trick. I have whatever dish soap I have. A little bit on your finger. Just around the inside rim of the grip. Not too much. Wipe the excess off.
And now, it will slide on very nice. Ooh. The other side spun a little bit, but this is thicker with the throttle tube on there. So I don't think we're going to have to wait at all for the uh, soap to dry. That is ready to rip. Okay, cool. Oh, and it looks like the grip's actually shorter than the throttle tube. I don't know if all of them are the same size, but if that's true, I could actually cut this off, this little eighth, eighth of an inch here, and slide everything back, which would actually do a lot of work for the brake lever clearance, because it's, oh, it's, hit, it's hitting the electronics, it's hitting the dashboard on the inside. But I don't normally turn lock to lock, so we're still gonna go test it. Okay, test ride went pretty good. Uh, the skinny grips are weird. I don't know why it makes such a big difference to me. The stock ones, the stock grips are thicker, so it's probably just because I spent 15,000 miles riding with those. Uh, so when I switch, it feels noticeably different. Other than that, I need to just turn the uh, right bar back a little bit it seems to have a little bit more angle than the left side and the left side is fully maxed out so i can't go the other way i hope nothing's bent but i'll ignore that for now oh just a smidge oh Okay, get the bar s straight here. And that's, that's definitely better. <laughs> well, That's done for now, boys. Nice. Now just gotta ride it. 